Lee, I'm one of the physios from sportsinjury.com. What I want to talk today about is about returning to activity or working out how much activity you can do either on a day-to-day -day basis or doing your exercises by looking at the levels of pain that you've got with some types of injuries. Now this is a very much a general rule and it is important that if you are having any niggles or any pain or anything that's caused a problem that you do get this checked out and examined properly by a professional. But if we're looking at something where you have got a diagnosis or you've been to see somebody and they've ruled out serious things, this is a good general rule to follow. What I talk to my patients about when we're looking at activity levels and also the exercises I give them to do is something called my niggle rule. And my niggle rule is a pain that doesn't make you wince, doesn't make you limp or hold yourself differently, doesn't cause you to wish you'd never done it in the first place. And that niggle pain stays pretty low level or goes off and isn't irritated for more than that 24 hour period after you've done whatever activity that might be. So by niggle, we used to say three out of 10 or less, but people's pain tolerances mean that someone's three out of 10 is different to somebody else's three out of 10. So that's why I prefer to describe it as a niggle. So for example, if you were liking to walk and you could walk half an hour and it was all right and a little bit niggly and it's getting to that three, maybe four out of 10, but 25 minutes kept you at three or below, then at this present moment in time, your baseline of activity would be that 25 minutes. And that baseline of activity then can improve by getting advice from your professional, such as a physiotherapist as us on sportsinjury.com, where we can, sportsinjuryphysio.com, where we can have a look at what is going on and prescribe you exercises to get you more robust so as you get more robust your activity level can increase and if your activity level then increases you get stronger and more robust again and we get you back to the activity that you're at. Sometimes and most commonly people don't get better just straight in a nice long arc. What they tend to do is have good and bad days and flare ups and calm downs and those flare ups also give us a clue about activity. Now trying to avoid a flare up by keeping within that niggle rule until you can see a health professional is also a good idea. So our general rule of thumb is niggle level pain during the activity and for 24 hours afterwards and get whatever is causing that niggle checked out by a professional so you can get the right sort of rehabilitation and advice. Once you've got your rehabilitation and advice, you'll be able to do a little bit more as you get more robust until you're back to your normal activity. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.